Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Monday the 27th of September 2021. So stock shrug as taper tantrum sparks bloodbath Beijing batters uh, Bitcoin. Uh, Evergrande default, hawkish Fed, Bank of England, uh, FDX, uh, NKE cuts, uh, debt ceiling doubts, crypto carnage. So just buy the dip, the bleeping dip is uh, probably the best way to put it. And that's exactly what we've seen over the last few days, isn't it? They continue... The charade of continuing to keep the illusion alive and moving the markets back to the upside. But as it says here, changes in the market happen slowly then all at once. Don't be lulled into complacency because there's no doubts about it. We are heading for something very unpleasant uh, as we go forward. We're seeing this uh, even on a minor scale with uh, things happening over the weekend, even the power of the mainstream media, which I've uh, said about uh, for the last 18 months, that uh, you know people will believe everything that they hear without question, take it on board and just accept it as fact. And we've seen that at the weekend with all of the uh, idiots queuing for fuel in the UK on the basis of one media news item. And then it sets off the fear, the panic, the greed, etc. And that's all it will take. I uh, say so we've had a, an example of that this weekend. You can uh, see that it doesn't take a lot to switch uh, a situation around. We saw it 18 months ago, of course, with uh, uh, the arrival of COVID. But uh, now, 18 months later, with the propaganda, the fear mongering, the fear porn and everything else, it's amazing how receptive people are to BS and they just accept it as fact. Uh, central bank digital currencies, a future of surveillance and control. And yeah, that's part of it as well, actually. All part of the agenda to make sure that everything that you spend is actually logged, noted and accounted for. That's where this all ends. That's the whole point of bringing in this. Collapse the system, reset the system and have full control. You're seeing that with vaccination passports. That's the totalitarian tiptoe. Well, frankly, it's more of a sprint at the moment than it is a tiptoe. That's where it all ends. Well, this is where it all ends. Central digital digital currency, where every penny you spend, everything you do is monitored. It's coming. It's coming. Uh, implied volatility has been on the down since uh, we peaked at 20 last week. Now you can see it moving lower here. I'll just zoom in. Uh, there you can see it's... Uh, heading down and that's because uh, the Dow has been moving to the upside. So a quick look at all of the news for the week ahead before we get into uh, the Dow. We'll start off with today. Uh, we've got uh, Lagarde the criminal speaking at 12.45, 1 p.m. Evans is speaking, durable goods. So we've got Williams speaking, Brainard speaking, Bailey speaking at 7 p.m. They're bringing them all out this week, aren't they? Uh, tomorrow as well. Uh, again, we've got uh, FOMC, ECB, Bank of England, Powell. Thursday, uh, FOMC, Bostock, Evans, Williams. And then Friday, we've got uh, nobody speaking. Wow. Uh, just some regular news on Friday. But uh, this week, it's a, a central bankers week this week uh, on the news front. So that uh, should bring a bit of... Uh, lively uh, trading to the markets depending on what's said of course or it might have no effect at all we'll just have to uh, wait and see right let's have a look at uh, the the dow uh, this is the daily you can see that we're continuing to move to the upside we're heading back towards the 78 percent uh, retracement now uh, from this high to this low the shakeouts over as it said in the headline by the the bleeping dip as uh, the stocks are brought back. It's the only game in town that uh, the market or the Fed is, uh, is supporting at the moment. And uh, that's because they've got to keep the illusion alive that the system is still intact uh, when it's actually falling apart behind the scenes. And we know it is. Uh, some brilliant videos out at the moment uh, with regards to uh, what's going on with uh, Evergrande and uh, a few other things as well and now they're inextricably linked also the uh, reverse repo as well as hit 1.6 trillion which is also fascinating as well so there's definitely something coming down the the pipeline it's just a matter of i say keeping the illusion alive and bringing the markets back to keep that uh, you know keep that stability that the, everything is fine so friday we see the dow being moved to the upside there uh, holding well, it's just continued to move to the upside. A bit of a pullback in the last few hours, but again, trying to move 
back to the upside now. Uh, meanwhile, in the DAX, in the daily chart, uh, we've got uh, an 89% retracement back from this high to this low. That's uh, where the market is at the moment. Interestingly enough that the DAX is actually inside of Friday's bar at the moment, whereas the Dow was actually moving beyond uh, Friday. So just remind you uh, of that there, just so that you can see that the pattern's slightly different. may have something to do with the fact that it's now the DAX uh, 40 as opposed to uh, 30 and it takes a bit more to move around those extra tech uh, prices on the extra 10 companies i don't know but uh, that's where we are with uh, the dax uh, friday uh, you can see uh, the market uh, moving sharply lower in the morning and then it's been brought back uh, overnight with uh, the dow whereas the dow actually moved higher during friday's uh, session so I'll be getting back to recording uh, once again the live prices uh, from today. But we can see that uh, Friday, we go back to the futures market uh, just after 7. The market uh, moved down 50 points before the cash opened and then continued down another 100 points. Uh, the buying came into the market, which you can see here, uh, moving higher back to the 20 bar moving average. Selling coming in, then picking up the buying at the bottom, followed by more selling. Uh, they tried to move lower. This uh, signal failed here as the market found support, which uh, no surprise really when you look across to the left. You'll find the support there and then uh, the market uh, moving back to the upside and just trading sideways to uh, higher through lunch. And then in the afternoon, not doing a great deal. We uh, moved lower on two sell signals and then eventually uh, started to move to the upside but it took uh, uh, early evening before the market got to the actual uh, scalp target as you can see there uh, into the close of uh, the session for uh, the German DAX just after 4.30 there. So let's have a quick look at the metals before uh, concluding today. Uh, it's an interesting uh, picture again. Uh, Friday uh, hammered silver again well what a surprise but we've got an 89% uh, retracement here I think let's just have a, a quick uh, look and just oh I can leave that in uh, let's just have a look from here to here yeah bang on 89% and the market uh, actually uh, held uh, which we can see there at uh, 89 and uh, attempting to move higher but we'll find out at 1 p.m., won't we? Because that's uh, when they uh, do this. Although saying that, they've just uh, uh, come to life in the market, uh, trying to move it lower already in this particular bar. But you can see there, 1 o'clock moved it lower on Friday. What a surprise. Once they get that London fix, they move the market lower, and then uh, you'll see them bringing it back on the futures. That seems to be the pattern, so we'll see what happens. But at the moment, we've got a bit of support there. Uh, gold also uh, attempting to move higher as well during uh, the overnight session having found support on Friday and the dollar looking uh, sideways to lower as well. So is it to run out of steam? A lot of uh, central bank uh, announcements this week and discussions so I suppose that's going to impact on the uh, dollar anyway. So there we go that's uh, a roundup of where we are a lot of central bank news this week we'll have to wait and see what is going to be announced during these uh, these meetings and uh, see what happens uh, with regards to uh, the market's reaction to it okay that's it uh, for this one if there is anything else to report i'll let you know but uh, as ever thanks for watching see you in the next one